Good morning children. Today we shall learn about asexual reproduction in animals. We have already learnt about the sexual reproduction in animals and human beings. The male and female gametes take part in sexual reproduction. For this, the male and female gametes fuse together to form a zygote and then zygote turns into an embryo. You know, all animals don't reproduce through gametes, just like all plants don't reproduce through gametes. As we know, algae spirogera reproduces through fragmentation. Thread-like spirogera gets broken down into many pieces and each piece grows into a mature spirogera. So this was asexual reproduction in plants. A potato plant can reproduce through buds. The eyes on potatoes are actually buds. You must have seen new plant growing from eye of potato. Same kind of asexual reproduction is also observed in animals. Hydra is a microscopic animal. That is, it is a very small animal. In case of Hydra, one or more bulges develop on its body. These are called buds. New hydra grow from these buds. A bud keeps growing and then gets detached from the parent hydra and turns into a mature hydra. This process is called budding. There are many organisms which have one cell only. We call them unicellular organisms. For example, amoeba has only one cell. Amoeba cell just divides into two amoeba cells once its nucleus gets matured. First, the mature nucleus of amoeba gets divided into two nuclei. Their body, cytoplasm, then divides around the end of nucleus division. Each part gets one nucleus. This type of asexual reproduction in which an animal reproduces by dividing into two individuals is called binary fission. Binary fission is seen in most of unicellular organisms. So now you also know about asexual reproduction in animals. To sum up what we learned today, the type of reproduction in which only a single parent is involved is called asexual reproduction. This means the male and the female gametes are not at all involved. In Hydra, new individuals develop from buds. This method of asexual reproduction is called budding. And lastly, amoeba reproduces by dividing itself into two. This type of asexual reproduction is called binary fission. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.